blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to Paraclet TV, making disciples through the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, have a journey of statistical treatment because this is a part of a quantitative research. Okay, so in this table, uh, we'll remind you of the levels of measurement that we use in quantitative research. You have the nominal, the ordinal, the interval, and the ratio data. And um, Another one is if you're going when to use tables, when to use charts, when to use central tendencies and variations. So this will now help you. Uh, this table or matrix will help you which uh, are you going to use in terms of the different types of data and the different types of statistical tool that can be used. So nakasulat na dyan. So if you go, if you have nominal data, you can use frequency and percentage, and you can also use table for all um for all types of data. For central tendencies, nominal data, you use the mode for your uh, ordinal data, you can use mode and median. Then the three mean median in mode can be used for. Uh, the two types, interval and ratio data. Now, looking at the variations or the dispersions of data, you can use the following tool. That's about univariate, you know, one variable. But if you are uh, having two, so you can use this one, you know, cross tabulation. Then when you do the associations or the relationship or the differences, uh, these are the suggested tool to use. You have the lambda in tau uh, formula, the gamma in tau for the bi bivariate ordinal data. And then for the interval data, these are our commonly used uh, for quantitative research because you usually use the, the weighted mean. You know? So you have the person R coefficient of correlation then the coefficient of determination, and so on and so forth. So this will help you. No, you can keep that. So a review of our statistics, you have the descriptive statistics that are used, frequency distribution, proportions, percentages, measurement of central tendencies, then in your variation or dispersion, you can use the range, the average, variance, and standard deviation. Quantitative research will be more on the description. Of course, you can use the descriptive statistics. But if you're going to look into the, a higher level, such as you're going to use level two, the relationship, level three, which will... Uh, uh, until you to do an experiment, then inspirational statistics uh, will be needed. So you have the parametric test that require normal distribution for interval or ratio data. So nakalagay na dyan. Compare to means, Z test for sample mean and population mean and so on and so forth. Now, just a review of your statistics. Now, there is the so this is for uh, inferential statistics because there are times that you will not use interval or ratio. So we can use the non parametric test, usually for relationship, nominal or ordinal. You have the chi square test for test of goodness of fit, the test of homogeneity, and the test of independence. Please be reminded that when you do inferential statistics, Descriptive statistics is a requirement. So it's good to go the process of having first the descriptive after or before the inferential statistics. Share, subscribe, Jesus. subscribe, share, share. 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 share.